All right, so we're going to be testing um, the long shot counter cord on an existing power board to see if we have to replace either one. So the first thing we're going to do is grab the shot, long shot counter cord that you were sent. We're going to go around the back of the machine, and you're going to see this plug in about midway down. Okay, so we're going to unplug this and plug in our long shot counter cord. Now, before we install it with the zip ties and go inside the machine, we're actually going to come around the other side here. And we're going to unplug our existing long shot counter cord. So if you look inside the machine here, to your power board, I'm going to move this back. You're going to see where it says P3 there. Okay? So we're going to go inside. We're going to unplug the P3. Takes a little bit of finesse, but you should be able to get it. Okay? So once that's unplugged, I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Now you're going to notice on your clip here, there's an end piece. This piece is going to be facing out. Okay. okay, so now that we have that plugged in, you're going to go ahead and turn on your machine, and then after you turn it on, give it a shot. If the counter starts to work, all we're going to have to replace is the long shot. If it doesn't, then we're going to replace the power. Should be good to go.